Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. I feel like I haven't said Drew here from Lone Fox in a while, but it's Drew here from Lone Fox. And today we are doing a Amazon favorites video. And this is kind of like a compilation of Amazon favorites, honestly, over like the past year, because ever since moving into this house, I have been shopping majority secondhand, a majority thrifted, a majority antique and vintage. So I only place them like every now and then I feel like. And in my old apartments, I used to place orders all the time. A lot of rental friendly options I found on Amazon. And now here, I've just been using so much thrifted and secondhand, but I've compiled up quite a few items and I feel like it is a perfect time to share with you my compiled Amazon favorites over the past year. And we have stuff ranging from housewares, tools. Like decorative homewares and then like decorative. Uh, like, then like what you can actually use. We have decorative homewares, we have functional homewares, we have electronic. Something else I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that Justin's chair just sold at auction last week. Justin, would you like to come hither? Sure. Justin's coming to hither and tell you guys the story. <laughs> I promised that whenever Justin's chair went to auction that he would come on here and tell you guys what happened because a while back he actually ended up finding this chair on Facebook Marketplace and it's kind of funny how it came to be because I posted a photo the other day on Instagram of the chair in my living room after he bought it. There was our text thread and <laughs> Justin's like, I just found the best Facebook Marketplace find. You said something like, is it one that we actually that we actually need to go pick up? Because we send each other like 15 to 20 a day and none of them, they're all good, but none of them are usually good enough that we actually would go pick them up. Or like it's like another couch that we don't need or like yeah. more chairs. So I found a chair for $50. Um, I looked it up on Google. It looked like it was something that was gonna be nice Rare. and worth getting. Um, and vintage. We saw ranges from what, 9,000 to 100,000? To 224,000 yeah. actually, yeah. So we didn't know what it was gonna actually be. We didn't know, I mean, but anytime there's something that's worth a lot of money, there's also fakes. So I thought it was been fake. A fake. He thought it was a fake. So I went and picked it up. It was worth the gamble. Sent it to Sotheby's that day, or the next day. They were interested. They said, but we have to wait till the June auction because the June auction is extra special. Decided to wait for the June auction and then. That was like two days ago, the auction. Yeah. Or like three, three days, ago. days ago. And. Drum roll, please. At $85,000. Here it is on the telephone, 85, and I can sell. Fritz Henningsen, chair here at $85,000. There's the bid. Last chance at 85. It's yours. 85,000. The hammer price was $85,000 that it sold for. A casual 85. But then with all the fees, it ended up being 108,000, which is, he kept saying, it's gonna sell for over 100, it's gonna sell for over 100. I think I said that on my channel too, I like a couple did. times. I was like, I know it's gonna sell for over 100. But the absolute least that they will accept is $28,000. I think it's gonna sell for 100. And it sold for 107.9. And said, yeah, and I said, you're crazy. It's not gonna sell for over 100,000. And lo and behold, it did. So Justin's $50 Facebook Marketplace find turned into approximately 70. I think in pocket before taxes, it will be like 77,000. So you're buying all of us something, uh, like a little mm -hmm. drink at the bar or something? Exactly. And, and this is happens. also probably the time I should tell you that I am um, putting to my two weeks notice. Okay, great. <laughs> Crazy because we went to the flea market the other day, yesterday, and there were so many people that were stopping Justin being like, oh my gosh, I saw the chair you sold on TikTok. Comparatively to the other things that were at auction, it was one of the lesser expensive items, but it's just that there was such a cool story attached to it, of finding it for $50 and then kind of just not knowing that much about it and having to be like this really cool one of 50 chairs in the world. Yeah, so more. hopefully we can find a couple more of those <laughs> in the next couple weeks and we'll be set. So that is crazy, Justin's chair sold, and I wanted to let you all know how much it sold for, so much fun, but I now want to share with you guys all of my Amazon favorites. And I have two things I wanna share with you first. Firstly, I wanna take a drink of some water, so this is the first one. So I feel like everyone and their mother has a Stanley cup. Now this is not a Stanley cup. I actually got introduced to this from McKenna and I wanted to get a Stanley cup for a long time, but then I realized just how impossible they were to get. And I just never ended up getting one. And then McKenna had one of these at the flea market. And I was like, wait, McKenna, I want one of those. So she sent me the link. I bought a brown version. My mom loves it so much that I bought her a cream version for her. And these are from a brand called Hydroflow. This 40 ounce, bottle right here. First of all, it keeps your water nice and cold. You can drink it out of the side if you want, which I like, or you can use the straw. And this is $25 and it comes in so many colors, which I personally love. I got the dark brown for myself and then this is kind of like a taupey cream color, but they have like so many different pastel and unique colorways and it comes in three different sizes. So this is the largest size and then there's two smaller sizes. So for $25, this being the largest, 
I think that's pretty good. I've been waiting to share this one with you because I know when I shared my kitchen renovation, I was sharing that I was ordering extra marble and I was actually going to turn the kitchen marble into like cutting boards or additional trays to sell on Loan Fox from the remnant cuts from my kitchen. But as you know, I ended up using all the remnant pieces in the upper of the coffee bar, putting them in that shelving. And I felt so bad I didn't have any left over and I wanted to create trays with the marble or like cutting boards. I found these trays made of the identical marble, you guys. Look at that. It is the same Calicutta Monet. They actually call this a viola on Amazon, but this is not a viola. This is definitely a Monet. It has a lip on it. Like this is such a great tray and it's $69. This would have been much cheaper than I could have even sold the marble that I had for. So I wanted to share this with you because I feel like it's such a cute piece for like a bedside table. It's also substantial, probably eight inches by 12 inches for like a bedside table or a bathroom, perfect for a bathroom it comes in a few different colorways too so if you don't like this marble definitely check out the listing because they have a few different other colorways and they're actually a little cheaper since we're on marble and kind of trays I have a checkerboard. I've been wanting a stone checkerboard. My friend Brittany from Badlands got a really cool one one time when we were at the flea market and I've been looking for one ever since. I haven't been able to find one that I love and whenever you do find a stone checkerboard they're always like they could range in price. They could be a hundred dollars or they could be a thousand dollars. So this one I loved. I love the warm tones in it. Kind of even looks like there's like fossils in it. This is a really unique stone. Justin, do you see how it looks like there's like a literal fossil in that? That is a fossil. Is it actually? It has to be, right? Like, it's a shell. I love that. And it actually comes with all the carved pieces as well, so you can use it as a functioning chessboard. But I probably would use it with the chess pieces on it as more of a decor element. I have no idea how to play chess. And this chessboard, I will say, is the most affordable for, like, the quality and the size and everything that you actually get. I thought this stone was the prettiest for the price. I gotta share with you the silverware I got. I'm obsessed is an understatement for this silverware because I have been looking for really nice quality silverware. I found a set on Amazon, you guys. I'm like laying it down right here. This set looks like vintage pewter. Like I am, when I took this out of the packaging, I was actually shocked at how beautiful this is. Hopefully in the B-roll clips, it shows up a bit better. It has this stamping on the metal that gives it this quality that it's actually crafted from pewter. And then I love the finish on all the metal. It kind of has this aged look to it. It's not shiny. It kind of is dull. It's also dishwasher safe and silver plated is not dishwasher safe. So this is honestly like a better alternative. I just love, love, love the quality and how heavy this is. Like I was having Justin feel it too. The knife alone, it's just such high quality and you get a whole set, but definitely like for the quality and the look of this, it is so worth it. Like look at that patina. Do you guys see that? Like, look at how the bottoms are all a little bit different on them. So pretty, but they just coordinate at the same time. Before I found that one, I actually had gotten a different one. And this one is a more affordable option. So if you're not for the silver or if you want something a little bit more affordable, this wooden bistro set, I love it. It's so cute. This is going to be like outdoor flatware. I'm definitely keeping this because it is, I love this. It has kind of these wooden, I feel like a beauty vlogger. The actual um, tone of wood is so beautiful. I love the actual flatware itself as well. And I feel like it just gives you that kind of outdoorsy bistro, cafe aesthetic. A few things I got for the kitchen, some new glasses. I got these glasses because I saw my friend Erica post these on her Instagram. You get eight of these glasses for like $25, which is crazy. Don't mark my words. It might be like $30. $27.99. $27.99 for eight of these. And they're the fluted kind. They stack as well, which I love because a lot of times when you find fluted glasses, they're like straight up and down so they don't actually stack. These ones have that stackable quality to them, which is so nice. And they're really pretty, perfect for cocktails or even just like an everyday drinking glass. And it's a pretty substantial size as well. It goes all the way down into the base. And I'm gonna bash my own online store for a second because I have these wavy bowls in the store, actually very similar to the top of this chair here. And they're wooden wavy bowls, but each one of them costs like 40 or 50 or $60 because they're made of wood. Um, but I found these baskets and they're wavy baskets. And these are actually a really affordable kind of alternative if you want the look. 
and I love these. I found them on Amazon. I had to get them when I saw them. They had this wave to the top of them, but how cute would these be like in your kitchen or on a coffee table? Um, just storage baskets and you get three different sizes. I love the shape and you get all three of these for $38, which I feel like all three of them is cheaper than one on my website. So that's great. After seeing everyone with their candle warmers, I needed one as well. And I found this one that has this kind of fluted ribbed glass shade really pretty but it's golden so they have a clear version of this and they have a golden version I would never think to buy one of these however my mom is the biggest candle she hates candles she thinks that her house is going to burn down like she's gonna leave the candle on and it's gonna burn down so I don't even think I've ever seen her light a candle in her own home she has all of the little melts that you can like put in the wall plug-ins and just different melt situations so I wanted to actually get her one of these so that she could actually put candles that I get her or candles from the store or just ones that she gets in here and you can actually melt them and properly use them without having to light it. You essentially just put this on any shelf or tabletop. You put your candle here and then the light is up in here. It actually shines down. It's like a heat lamp and it heats up your candle. So there's no actual flame or fire in use, but it serves a purpose and has the functionality of a candle. So we're in the lobby right now and you saw these curtain panels that I put in here. These are absolutely in my Amazon favorites. And the first thing I wanna share with you is a swatch book that you can actually order for these because I saw Arvin share these a while back on his channel and I had to order the swatch book and I did that so you get all the different fabric colors that they offer these linen curtains in I actually opted for this one right here the taupe gray colorway and these curtains are just the best curtains in the entire world for the price I'm telling you right now they are a great price point and the quality is just unmatched they lay so nicely they filter the light so beautifully just the pleats in them, everything about these panels, I love. I am very, very happy with these curtains. I had to put them in this video. I'm going to link them below for you guys so you can check them out. But they come in so many different colorways. I'll link below the swatch book and I'll also link below these panels if you are interested. But they come in a few different um, kind of height variations. You could select the color and they come pretty quick as well, especially for, I think you can even do custom widths, custom sizes if you want to. And I will link below all the information if you are curious on these curtains. I hung them in this living room. So good. These are really fun and I've seen these around for a while. I never got to purchasing them until recently and I love them. They're battery operated taper candles. And the thing I love about this is that they all work off of like one remote. So I ordered these from the same company on Amazon. I'll link the two different options below because I like mixing them. I think if you have all the same exact height and same exact look of a battery operated taper candle, it kind of looks battery operated if you know what i mean like it looks like every single one is not different so i like the look of the different candles i think it looks really nice i also felt like i never really would like the look of these candles they are dipped in real wax and they have real wax melting down the side even on the top here it's so good and you could turn them on let me see if this shows can you see that it's hard to show on camera but you guys probably get the idea and then you could like turn them off i picked up this planter for a project i was working on and i just had to share it with you because i feel like it looks looks so beautiful for the price. It looks like a found antique stone mortar. It says it is a found vintage item on Amazon and it is so, so pretty. I think it's made out of like a terracotta, but it has this very stone look to it, which I love. So if you wanted to do like an herb garden, I feel like getting a bunch of these would be so pretty. I have a new favorite product that I've shared a few times on the channel and that is Howard's feed in wax this product especially if you're into older furniture pieces like i am this works so well like you could get a piece home from the thrift store it could have scratches and scuffs all over it you give it a wipe down with this and this is essentially just beeswax and orange oil so it's really natural and it's a wood polish and conditioner but it really really gets rid of any scratches it evens out the tone it rehydrates the wood it just makes the grain look 87 times better than it did before and I highly highly recommend getting a bottle of this if you have any wood furniture in your house Like just cleaning it with this looks so so good. I promise you guys. This is a great product I only have a few more things to share with you Um, but I got a couple of coffee table books when I was doing the upstairs because I needed to fill in that area And two that were my favorite first off resident dog this coffee table book is about dogs homes like the homes that dogs live in and it is such a 
fun book. There's so much inspo in here as well. It's just such a cool take on like an interior design book. So if you're one that loves dogs, you love interior design, this could be a great book for you. Or I feel like it's just such a cute gift book. Like this is such a nice book to get someone that also loves dogs. And then the other book I got was this Monet book and everything has quite a glare when I face it forward. Oh, Justin, this is literally the Monet that I got a fake version of. I got an art piece and it looked exactly like this. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like Monet. And then we realized it was literally just a print of a real Monet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure they also have this style of book in many different artists too. So if you wanted to do like a little collection, I just like the spine and how it says like Claude Monet. It's very simple. And the last thing I'm sharing with you are these new hand towels that I got for my bathroom, but I thought they were so cute, especially for Amazon again. Sometimes Amazon, it's hard to find those kind of design forward pieces, but I feel like these stripes and then this little detail at the bottom here is really nice. And the color palette too. I love the bit of black that it adds here and the actual towel itself kind of looks like this. And I think you get two of them for 17 or 18 bucks, which is a pretty great deal. And they also come in another colorway too. So if you don't like this brown one, I just love them. And they're really soft and like fluffy. I just forgot about one of my new favorite items. And that is this pair of miter shears. I've had many miter shears in the past, but you guys, this one gives you the option to actually twist the base here. So in the other pairs that I have, you have to actually angle the wood and then just hope for the best. This one, you actually can twist into different spots and then you have an alignment for your wood to go on, which I think is so nice. You can use the blade to then cut your molding piece and adhere it to the wall. But another thing is, is that this one comes with two replacement blades, which are ones that I've used in the past don't come with any replacement blade. It has a lot of functionalities that I really love. So if you would like to grab one of these tools, I highly recommend this one. But that is everything in my compiled Amazon favorites video. I hope that you guys loved this one. I actually just added this in to to kind of my content here on the channel because we are working on another room, but it is taking a little bit longer to kind of get the start or the first video kind of ready for you guys. There's quite a bit of process happening at the moment. So I'm gonna share that with you this upcoming Sunday and I'll catch you in that one. But let me know what was your favorite Amazon item and if there was one that you are going to be picking up or multiple, totally let me know in the comments below. And if you've been liking anything as well, leave your suggestions down below as well. I'd love to check them out and I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Have a great day. Bye guys.